go to the tools panel in Illustrator and select the rectangle tool or any of the other shape tools as well. So you've got this shape now. Also, what you can do is you can go and select another shape, maybe a rectangle again, type, whatever. So just create that. And this time, obviously, what I want to do is I'm going to fill this design, but I'm going to fill it so I want to see it. So I'm just going to make that red, something different from blue. Now with that, I can select both of them and I can go then to the window menu, down to astute graphics and down to space fill. So space fill there and then just apply it. Here's the panel, click make. And straight away you can see what happens. It fills this design with these rectangles. It could be, let's say, types, circles, dots, whatever. There's a number of bits of functionality here. You've got randomize, so you can click again, randomize, randomize, and so on and so on. Now, you've got here, centers. That's much quicker. A very quick way of applying it. Now, if I go to the next one, go to outlines, it does it. But you can see it just takes a little bit more processing power, but apparently it's more accurate. But I'm just gonna go with centers. That's quicker, and they look fine. However, if you're using type, you might find that you prefer it with outlines. At the final stage, you might decide, you know what, let's just go with it once I've decided on everything. Now you've got uniformity. You can also just make it very just random. Looks fairly random to me anyway, but you can vary, it does vary. And so you can put it back to one or push it up to the max. Now you can also go here. You can also at all stages turn things off. So if you don't want resize all filling arts, I'm just gonna resize that. What does that do? Well, it actually just puts it back to the original size. Well, with the vary size option. So if I turn that off, now that just puts it to what it was. That was the size of the rectangle beforehand. So it doesn't do any resizing. Now, if I turn that on now, and you can see it shrinks it by 30%. So that's all that does. So basically it means that when you create something, you might not have exactly the right size. So you can tweak it here. Also, you can say vary size. Now, unfortunately, there's no range. It would be really nice if it was a range feature. You can see the range down here. So I don't know why I didn't carry it forward because you should be able to go like range of 0 0.3 to 8.7 or something. That would make more sense. However, you just vary it between obviously 4.9, 1, 2, etc. This is fine. You can see the options there. It just does it. So you've got the size there. You've got then up to two twice the size. Or you can make it obviously eight times the size and so on. You can see the way it changes there. Now I'm just going to go with three, just three. However, also you can vary rotation. You can turn it off again. If you don't want that, don't have to have it on. Just turn it off very quickly. So you can say 360. Well, you might not want 360. You might just want it to be rotated by 10 degrees. So just 10 degrees, that's it. All of them are just randomly rotated by 10 degrees. So it's very subtle. So 30, say 30. So you've got very subtle changes there. However, unfortunately, it's not a list. It would be really nice if it was a list. In some of the other plugins, they've got, they've got lists where you can do it. That would be much nicer. However, there is this option here, which is step. So if you put it to 360, you can put it to 45. So you can force it, you can leave it just to be random. So it's like 0.1, 5, 10, 20, 33, 44, etc. If you put this step feature in, it will do it in steps of 45 or 10 or whatever you want, you can change it, but it's a 10. So you can just do it in steps of 10. So it's gonna be 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. And that's quite nice to create the design. Also, you got here, vary opacity. Now, most time, I very rarely put that on, but it's very useful. You can turn around and say, just vary it. So between 0% and 100%. So you can see what happens, it fades it away. So this one might be 10%, this one might be 60%. So you can create, say you decide, you know what, 100 copies. And you can see then you've got that range. It just mixes them with some faded, some full on. But this is the thing that's useful, multiply. Now the default is weirdly, is just that, turned off, which doesn't make any sense to me. I prefer to keep it on. So just go for 20 and again, very opacity. 
can turn it off. And you've got multiply filling, so you can make 20 copies. You might want, say, 10 copies, so you make very few. You might want to put 300 copies. Obviously, the more you put in, it's going to take a bit more processing power to do it. And also, it does auto update as well. Once you're happy with everything, you can always, let's just put that to a bit more than that, 100. So 100 there, you can then either release it, which just returns it back to what it was right at the start, which you might want to do, but I'm just going to expand. So it's expanded. And you can always see what happens via the layers panel. Layers panel is super useful in Illustrator. I love the layers panel because it just means you can break it down. You can see what you got and you've got groups. So as groups means if you don't want groups, and I'm not a fan of groups unless I particularly want to create a group, but I can go to object, ungroup, and then I can say object, ungroup. So you can remove those groupings. And as soon as you've done that, what you can do, you can select them all. Maybe go over here and you've got Pathfinder here. So here's the Pathfinder. Maybe go for subtract. So subtract front. And then you've got this design. It's been chopped with all these now, if I move that around, you can actually look through that. Obviously, there's nothing on the other side other than the artboard, but you can see through those. And let's just do it something else now. Let's just go and create. So you can create any other one, as long as it's bigger. That's the key thing. It's no good if you're trying to. Now, I'm not certain exactly if you make something exactly the same size. It obviously decides on one or the other. But say you've got here some text, and I'm just going to create the word text. And again, this is the thing about the size. So you might make it this size. And you think, well, you know what? That looks fine. But I can select both of those and then you apply it and it just doesn't look right. And you don't want to go back to recreating it again. You can just, so now make. Again, click make and you can see the result of this. So it's just here. Now I'm not going to use that anymore, but you could do the same. Again, you've got a layers panel here window menu and layers and you can see the space fill just there an the ellipse that's all that you've got at this point until you expand so now what you can do you can randomize again so you can randomize now here if you go for outlines it does actually take a bit more processing power but it looks nicer it works it all out doesn't maybe make such a mess of it in the way it's done so you could actually go for uniformity just reduce that down personally looks fairly random to me anyway but you can click there but it doesn't and obviously there it's just going to process it a bit a few seconds you can see there the result is much nicer that is a much nicer solution the outlines but it's not particularly quick if you're you know again go back to centers it's a bit more messy a bit more jumbled however resize all for the night and this is the reason for the size so you might decide you know what Let's put it back to what it was, which was 100%. And you can see now that's obviously it too big. Ooh, let's say you've also got here very size. So just reduce that, reduce that. All the very, let's get rid of them all. Now I've got 100 copies. I might say go for 20 because it's a bit messy. But you can see there's the result of 20. And that's resizing at 100%. So if I do it 20%, it just puts it down to a lot smaller. 20% of the original. Or 10% and so on, so you can fade it away. Or maybe you decide, you know what, I want it to be twice size, so 200. You can put it going back to 100. So you've got that, and also again, vary size. So you can turn around and say, and that varies it again. So you get some at three, some at 2.8, some at two, etc. And again, vary rotation, 360. And you might want to turn the step one off, and it just jumbles it around at a particular angle. So you can create this sort of design. And again, you can turn this off if you want, and you just get the one, which doesn't make much sense. Why would you do that? I don't know. However, you got that, and then once you're happy with it, again, I'm just going to reduce the size so it makes it a bit more. So at 20, maybe make it to 200. And you can see you can fill it very rapidly with lots and lots of paths, of type paths. But it could be anything. It doesn't have to be type paths. It could be lines. It could be star designs dots, etc. Only issue, it doesn't recolor things, which is a pity. However, the end result, again, all you have to do is go to expand. So expand, and again, you can see over here, it's a group, group, and you've got the ellipse. So you can always select the ellipse there. If you want to, you know what, I don't like the blue, 
I can change it. So I bring that up and just turn it to green. And you've got it turned to green. And you can see, you can change that, tweak that. Also again, object. Oh, let's make certain you're selecting that. That's the key thing. Just go up here to the layer, select that. Then object, ungroup. Object, ungroup. And now they're all ungrouped. And all they are is text. So you can, if you want, you know what, I decide, nice as it is inside there, I actually want them all around the edge. You can move them out. Don't have to keep them in the container that you started out with, because that's all they are, just text at the end of the day, or different paths here. So you've got a design like this. It's made up of obviously multiple paths, lots of rectangles, could be stars, etc., etc. But if you do that and that, just select them all, then go over here to the space fill and click make, what happens, it generates a design that's all mixed together, which is fine. You might want to do that. You might want lots and lots of designs all over the place with multiple shapes. However, if you want this actual design, what you need to do is select it all, then go to Object and Group. Now, do exactly the same. Select that and obviously the container, and then go again to Make, and now you can see what happens. It generates a design and Nicely puts them all together using the outline. You could, of course, use the centers. It's not so good, though. So there is a quick way of making slightly more interesting designs using groups. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.